Hello YouTube, it's Hunting Guy 532. And today, uh, I got a little bored, so I decided to do another YouTube video. And, um, fuck. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I made a system out of the backpacking, out of the backpacks and gear I already have. I am planning on buying an actual backpacking backpack for the summer, this summer, maybe this winter, depending on if we're on sale or not. But what I have now, already out of the gear I already have, I got it rigged up for 72 hours or three days of camping. And I'm also wanting to test the system to see if I could use it in a bugging out situation without the rules law in place. So it would be it would have camel gear, but without the rule of law in place, I don't think it's gonna matter. With the rule of law in place, then I'm gonna watch myself with what I you know, what what camouflage stuff I take. And this is just one component of it. It's uh Ugh, it's, uh, well, this right here, this is something I got quite a number of years ago, and it's, uh, German web gear, a lot of, and I got it at a army surplus store for, I think, 20 bucks, and that's what it is, it's old German army gear, but a lot of, it's, but it's a similar pack design to what most bow hunters would use, and instead of paying up to $250, $300 for an actual bow hunter pack that's the same as this, you can go to the army surplus store and get one. Now, why I'm gonna now that holds three days of food and some other supplies and stuff. Um, the other thing behind it, it's for the but for the with without uh, sorry without the rule of law in place with for bugging out. If I had to ditch my bigger camouflage backpack, which I'll show you that in another video, well, that's currently my main backpacking backpack. If I ever had to ditch that. And I just keep this. It's got some stuff that, well, I think could keep me alive. It's got a day's worth of food and all that other stuff. But I think I'm better off just showing you. Uh, please excuse the mess I have in my room right now. I'm going between putting hun deer hunting gear away, getting checking out camping gear because I got bored. And for some reason in the winter, I always get the camping itch. And then summer hits, and well, I can take off with it. And I've been cleaning shit all day while trying to. And I got bored and decided to do this YouTube video. So on the pack on the outside, you see this chair right here. And the reason for the chair, it's for the camping. For 70, for just an overnight, I wouldn't bother with the weight of the chair. But because it'll be three days, I'm taking the chair now. Because without the rule of law, and I had to run with just this, I would ditch that chair for the weight. But I have my somewhat backpacking friendly sleeping bag. It's very light. It's a good summer bag. And show you the side components on this side. Uh, crap, that has my name on it. It's just my shovel, my folding military shovel. Sorry, the top, I was gonna pull it out, but I just realized the top part of it has my name on it. Uh, on this side is my canteen, and it also has the canteen cup and the canteen stove, which was really nice. And you now on the top, obviously, you saw the, the chair and the sleeping bag. And then inside, I have the straw. Now that's for my two two quart canteens. I have is the drinking straw. But if I had to run with just this, I could uh, haul water out of a creek or whatever with that. What else do I have? I have three emergency candles. Ugh, move that around. There's not a whole whole lot in here now. Some of you guys might laugh at me or make fun of me or call me an idiot for doing this, but I'm carrying three cans of food in there, and that's the only canned food I'm bringing. Now. I don't have a lot of money, and I'm a young guy, so I think I'll take the way to canned food. That and it tastes better than those MREs. Nothing really against them, but they're okay. Now I got, what do I have? I have a can of chicken noodle soup, a can of Italian wedding soup, and a can of ravioli in there. That's all there is in that part. I have some, just some rope. Uh... 20 rounds for my Enfield. I always take I take that camping sometimes for bear protection. I don't expect to ever see a bear or ever have to shoot a bear out camping, but it's safer to have it than not. It's better to have it, not need it, than need it, not have it. Is that all in there? I thought I had more. Uh, well, I guess that's it in there. It's not a lot of stuff uh, on the pack itself. On the, your t on the top strap, I have one of my camping and hunting knives there, and that's just for an emergency or self-defense, right, when the 
WROL aspect of it now. I'm not expecting I'm not to defend myself with it. It's just for camping, but it's also a system I want to test and you know in case the shit totally hits the fan. And that's just this one section of it. And then of course stuff I'd have on me be you know my lighter, my matches. I'd probably keep a flint in my pocket. And you know just odds and ends like that, an extra knife, uh identification, a cell phone itself towers are still up, I can still use my cell phone I guess, but you also can I can also be tracked on it, so, I mean, that would be an iffy thing, but, anyway, this is just for a 72 hour trip, and the woods on my land, so, I don't know whether this is going to be a solo trip yet, or if a buddy's going to come with me, it's pretty much going to be up to them at that point in time, but that's kind of it for now, this is Hunting Guys 532, and I'll talk to you guys later.